we're going to talk about connecting with the PyCoreSite app in this video. So I'm in here, I'm already successfully connected, and I can see a set of displays and view them. If I want to know what user I'm connected as, I can press this wrench icon in the top right, and I'll see it right here. I'm going to sign out to show you what it's like to sign in, and I'm brought to this screen. This is the screen that you'll be brought to when you first launch the app. By default, there's a demo server configured here, and all you're going to want to do is just click here and erase it and type in the name of your server, your PyCoreSite server. So here I have HTTPS, the, I, the IP address, and then slash CoreSite. This may be an IP address, it may be the name of your server, it's a, however your Pi administrator configured the CoreSite machine. Next is your credentials. So this will often be your domain name slash your username. So for me, it'd be OSI slash my name. And then lastly, of course, the password. So this is your domain password here. There we go. And I sign in. And I'm brought back to that same display area. And I can bring up data again. Now you'll notice I need to have access to a network in order to do this. Particularly, you need to have Wi-Fi access to your internal network. Or you need to have VPN access. And that's what I have here. I have a VPN connection onto my internal network, which allows me to access all this data. If I were to lose this connection, I can still see data, but I can't pull up new data. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to disable Wi-Fi. There we go. So Wi-Fi is disabled now. And now when I bring up PyCoreSite, you'll see unable to connect to the PyCoreSite server, only stored displays are shown. So I have a limited amount of displays, particularly the displays I viewed before. And the only data available is data that um, I was viewing before, data that is cached on the iPad. I can pull up this display and I can see values, but if I were to zoom out, it goes right back to the same time range. So I'm not actually able to change the time range when I have a cached display like this. I can only see the last data that the iPad received and cached. But I can view any displays that I was able to view before. And of course, if I re-enable Wi-Fi, and the VPN reconnects, I'm able to pull up new data. So that's connecting with the Pi Coresight app. There are a few settings that are available in the Settings app. If you scroll down, you'll find PyCoreSite down here. Now here on the iPad, it's only required and sounds, but that's where those preferences are if you're looking for them. Otherwise, everything is within the PyCoreSite iPad app itself.